When we're training in meditation, it's important that our good intentions extend beyond the simple act of closing our eyes. In fact, there's a really funny old story about a very impatient yogi meditating in his cave. Wondering what the yogi was up to, a traveller passing by asked him, Um, excuse me, do you mind if I stop in? The yogi, being very disciplined, kept his eyes shut and continued without saying a word. Thinking the yogi must be a little hard of hearing, the traveller said a little louder, Um, excuse me, do you mind if I come in? Eventually the yogi opened his eyes and said, Can't you see? I'm trying to meditate. Apologising, the woman went on her way. But she hadn't got very far before she started to think. I wonder what kind of meditation he's doing. So she returned to find the yogi sitting in quiet contemplation. Um, excuse me, she asked. What sort of meditation is this? The yogi, letting out a big sigh, said, I'm meditating on patience. The woman said, Oh, okay, interesting, thanks. And left once again. So the yogi returned to his meditation. As the woman continued her journey, she found herself thinking, Wow, patience. I could really do with some of that. I wonder if I should ask him for some instruction. So once more she went back to the yogi's cave. But so infuriated by all the interruptions, this time the yogi jumped up and screaming and shouting chased the traveller out of the cave. Clearly, training the mind is about much more than sitting still with our eyes closed. It's about bringing a gentle and flexible approach to our practice and as a consequence, into the world around us. The conditions may not always be easy, but the journey's about embracing them, making these so-called obstacles part of our practice. The practice of resting the mind in awareness, at ease with ourselves and at ease with the world around us.